So in this case, when Bob receives this block, this is not actually going to create a degree less than or equal to nine polynomial. When Bob runs this interpolation, because there was an error here, he's going to end up with something that's like degree 19, presumably. And so Bob then is going to say, can I fix this? And in order to sort of think about this idea of can I decode this, we need to introduce some, some new notions, I guess. So I'm going to try to introduce a little bit of a geometric perspective on this question. So on the screen, I have the collection of all the valid code words. There's only a few dots shown, but you can imagine there would be a lot more valid code words. And we're assuming just code words based on messages of length 10. So let me make this a little more concrete. Here's a, an invalid code word. We started with this message of hello world and encoded it into this code word here. And if we had instead started with this message of jello world, maybe we would end up with this code word here. But what we actually received was this block, which is not actually a valid code word. So Bob runs his interpolation on this, and he says, OK, this isn't actually a low degree polynomial. This is degree 19. I was hoping it was degree 9. So can I decode this? And in order to answer that question, Bob says, well, is there some code word that's kind of close? What do we mean by close here? I've drawn sort of a, a, a line between these points here. And we could try to ask a question of, what's the distance between these blocks? The way that we measure distance here is by looking at the number of entries that disagree. This is the Hamming distance, is the technical term for this. It comes up all over the place. So here's those three blocks laid out a little bit more explicitly here. The top one here is the word that we received. And Bob looks at it and says, OK, yeah, that's not a valid code word. And then there's two examples of code words here. And the red color coding indicates where they disagree. So the second the first and second entries here the first and second rows i should say have a distance of one from each other whereas the first and third one have a distance of 11 from each other and it turns out that these are actually going to be like the closest and tied for second closest examples here and based on that sort of discrepancy in the closest distances Bob is able to say, OK, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that Alice actually meant to say hello world, not jello world. So the kind of key value of Reed Solomon encoding is the code words are pretty far apart from each other. In particular, degree nine polynomials can't agree in like 15 places. They can't agree in any more than 10 places unless they're exactly identical. So Reed Solomon encoding sort of makes makes use of the fact that low degree polynomials can't share very many points in order to give a way to decode potential errors. <laughs> 